I mean, Kurogana daggers. Sorry for moving my mic a little. Hey, Bienfil. I was wondering if I could talk to you about something that's on my mind. I figured it was just about the time that you and I had the talk, actually. I've seen it all, heard it all, and even tasted it all in my time as a Moloch. Ask me anything you want. Thanks. I was hoping you could let me borrow those books you were reading earlier, if that's okay. You mean how to talk a human female into becoming your vessel and how to get the cuties? Hey, keep it down, keep it down. But you and Madame Eleanor have already formed a pact. Why do you still need either of those books? Well, it's like when we're alone together, things get so awkward. It's hard to talk with her, you know? <laughs> that happens a lot with Malakim and Vessels who are still new to the whole thing. I've been there. In that case, I've got an even better book for you. Whoa, you read a lot of books. I'm just an avid learner is all. Now let's see. Oh, here we go. Hot Spring Topics, bearing your body and your soul. Being upfront and honest is always the best policy. I... I don't think we'll be bathing in any hot springs together. Do you have anything else? All right, then how about... After bath party games, dropping your defenses and your towels. Why do you keep trying to get us naked? I think that would just make things even more awkward. Picky, picky. Tell you what, you can just look at my collection and pick whatever sounds good. Love hacking, living long and loving hard, diary of a diary thief, hands speak louder than words. All classics. I remember reading them when Miss Mogilu and I were struggling to get along. Oh, to be young again. You ever think maybe things would have been easier if you never read these books? Reading the mood. Knowing what to say and how to say it. That one's a winner. A must read for sure. Are you two reading something together? We are. We are. Luffy set has been worried about that awkward distance between you two, and he came to me for some advice. I've heard his side of the story, so let's you and I grab some tea and talk about what to do about it. Come on! Let's go, let's go! Oh, okay. Knowing what to say and how to say it. I don't think this will help either. That actually probably would have helped, but... Uh, <laughs> look, be handful. Um, well, this episode <clears throat> is going pretty long. So time for the next one, I guess. I don't need your pity, traitor. Whatever. Let's go. <clears throat> Fuck. Let's go back to Shirugana's place. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry, Kurugana's place. Let's see. Because I want to take the chest, and there also might be some sort of shop there. Wait. Equipment, right? First of all, Roku. Leave the fighting to me. Equipment, Roku. Mana lance, interesting. I mean, new pair of swords made from the head of demon Kurogana. Who oh, willingly uses it as a material? Hmm. Gonna upgrade it later. Hopefully it doesn't require too much materials. And if it does, well, f I don't care. It's pretty strong. Look, I, I don't... I, I, mean, I know it's a lot of walking. But I don't want to miss shit because I'll have to go there later. Back later. Go back later, yeah. Which is not... Well, I mean, it's inevitable, but... It's not what I currently want to do. A well, save point and nothing else? Well, I'll get the chest, at least. And I guess I'll use the teleport bottle out. I mean, we don't have much other choice. Look, I, I should limit my recording time to an hour here. 
But I, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I'll go back. Well, I'll go to two hours again, which is fucking probably will happen anyway. One spear, huh? Look, uh. Oh right, those take the Nora bottles. This is cool. Um. Uh, yep, nothing here. World map? Have to go to the part. Port. Is there a fast travel? No. Not yet. I'm assuming there will be. There has to be. It's a new day. Is it? Is it though? Let's jump down and use a warp portal. Shit. Uh, was there any closed off fair? Nope. I guess we're going back to the area we were at. Or did I miss something? I hope I did not miss anything. To be honest. Shit. All oh, right. Oh my god. Aha! Uh -huh. I made such a huge mistake. I have to. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. I have to walk all the way back. Oh fuck me. Uh, yeah, I made a mistake. I just realized that I was supposed to go to the closed off area over there. Inside the tunnel. There, was th there wasn't even a warp portal, come on. This is bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Uh, but whatever. There, it's not too much walking, but it has a fair amount. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure I want to deal with that. But you know what? We're going up. We're going up, up, up. We're going up, avoiding any zombies and... Uh, Fucking centipedes that come in our way. Cause we don't want to deal with that shit. Or do we? No. Look, I'll grind off screen like I did up until now. Cause there's no not much point showing it, to be honest. Okay, so there's the other way, right? It's way up over there, then we get to the toils. And I'm not gonna waste time right now enhancing shit. I might do that off screen as well. Which I probably should. Anyway, because enhancing my weapons makes me pretty fucking powerful. But for the time being. Well, that's actually level 3 cooking. That's pretty cool. For the time being. We're going over there. Could talk to the toilets again. I don't see much point in that. I mean, I could see if I can enchant the uh, enhanced, sorry, the Kurugana daggers. Yeah, I can. One, two. Uh, the third one is less necessary. Waterless crap. Hmm. It's a lot of power, though. Okay. Bell the Sash? Uh, Bell the Dome Sash, sorry. Tony Waste. We'll look at that later. Maybe. Maybe I'll just do it all off screen. There. Like, look, equipment manage management. Pretty cool, but at this point I don't think it's as necessary. I can't even en enhance past plus three. Maybe when I unlock plus six enhancements. Which I should, at one point. No jump available yet. Any cat's chests anywhere? It's weird, I don't... That's good. I don't see the cat's chest as often. And I guess that's intentional considering they cost like... Over 60. Some of them even, even over 90 to open. I'm assuming I'll get to 100 plus soon. Or less soon at this rate, but... Oh, a candle. 
Oh, speaking of the devil. 100. Drop earrings left. Um, doesn't seem too interesting. But I'm assuming it won't go from Velvet's ear either. Like the, it'll go from the actual ear, not the. Uh, let's see. Drop earring. Ah, uh, pretty cute. Not as good as the glasses, in my opinion. There's nothing there. And nothing... Well, that's a seal. Let us go outside. I mean, I said I'm not gonna record more than an hour. Why did he call your storm howl a reject? Well, you see, when blacksmiths make swords, they don't just make one at a time. They make a whole bunch. The best one of them all is the one that gets presented to the swords commissioner, while the rest are tossed aside. Huh. I didn't realize the standards were so high. The head of my clan gets the real Storm Howl, and his siblings get the remainders. So one is real, and the others are imitations? I guess so. Shigure has the real one, and... Yeah... Guess that makes mine an imitation. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to imply... Don't apologize. You got me to finally realize something. It might just be why I'm so hung up on beating him. Oh. And to Velvet? Which Luffy said is real? And which is the imitation? Oh. What are you saying? She means my name. It's the same as Velvet's brothers. Huh? The one who went and got sacrificed by Artorius. Surely you are mistaken. Our shepherd would never do such a thing. But what else could make Velvet hate Artorius so much? I... I don't... So you have a truth, and Velvet has a truth. Now which is the real one, and which is the imitation? Uh... Magulu, you're such a troll. I love you. Uh... Please. No, still didn't get the final item. Scout ship setting sail. My god! Okay, um... So, to Rokuro. Maybe you'll actually beat him if you stop... Trying to use the imitation, which he is actually gonna do. Quit seeing yourself as an imitation and see yourself as a fucking thing of your own and use uh, an original weapon like the daggers you're using now and then you'll beat them most likely possibly I mean look the original the first to do something I mean it's not a rule of thumb it's not 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 always true but they're usually the better ones everything every everything after that is either an imitation or improvement upon and well using a fake blade with the same style is definitely not an improvement oh my god these maps are so oversized what's that well I, it's gonna require a jump which I don't have I'm assuming it's a jump I mean what else could it be let's take a look yep that's a flying gliding I mean, I, I'm not. I'm wondering why did I not unlock this ability yet? Maybe some sort of like mount, which like I doubt. But wings. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, that's a thing. I mean, I can just go around the abyss. Or whatever it is, it's not not an abyss. It's a fucking riff, like I don't know what to call it. But is there gonna be some sort of cat's chest? Oh, that's where the seal is. Fuck it, him. Fuck it, fucking whoopity woo. I have too much mat too too many materials that I don't know what to do with. 
Balmy fluid, I'm assuming that could make for some sort of a... Healing item. Or maybe it's just for upgrading. I don't know. Okay, I mean... You and Shigure both use the Rangetsu style. But to me it looked like you both fight completely differently. Why is that? Our school encompasses two distinct forms. To the outside world, we're known for fighting with a single great sword. But we also study dual short swords should need arise. So, Shigure uses the great sword, and you use the short. In most schools, wouldn't the secondary technique be used primarily in support of the first? That's true for us as well. We learn the dual short swords to provide sparring partners for those studying the great sword. Then why would you handicap yourself against Lord Shigure? He's no mere swordsman. As I'm painfully aware, Shigure is a true master. We trained together since we were small children. I was his sparring partner for ten years. <sighs> his skill with the great sword is godlike. So, in order to beat him, I took up the short blades. To our school, it might be secondary, but it's what I know best. You're badly disadvantaged in reach. If I eliminate my fear, I have a chance. If I can control the terror of being split in half and I can step inside his guard, he'll have two times the trouble. Eliminating fear, huh? A style for someone who's lost his humanity. Right? It's like you two brothers are the very swords you carry. Huh? Storm Howl, a godlike sword known to all as the strongest there ever was. Storm Quell, burdened by the ceaseless struggle to best the other. One, an exorcist who walks in the light. One, a demon moving through the shadows. The only thing these two polar opposites want is to cut down the other. Precisely! Both are renowned blades. But I don't see what exorcists and demons have to do with it. <laughs> Eleanor. Um, look, uh... To be honest, they say it's disadva disadvantage, but I feel like using daggers is a lot more effective. Because if you're quick enough, you get real close and, well, the opponent can't do shit because, uh, like, he's not in reach. He can't do anything with a huge ass sword if uh, their opponent is uh, fucking stuck to them. And, uh, can't, like, well, they can't, just can't. With a sword is big, then it's, it's reach is it's big, but at short range, it's a, at a disadvantage, basically. 